Uh, one of the, the interesting things that I think people hear about is there's different materials that we can use when we perform a hip replacement. Um, and um, the main interest involves the articulating surface of the hip. In other words, we have um, a hip that goes in the bone, and then on the hip is a metal piece. It's, we call this the head. And that metal piece articulates with the socket, which we, took, which we put in the pelvis. This is an example of one type of socket. So the articulation component of this is the ball and the socket because that's one of the areas where you see wear. So in this example, we have a metal head with a metal socket. The advantage of this, the, we call this a hard-on-hard -hard surface. The advantage is it has extremely good wear characteristics. The disadvantage is that over time, metal ions get produced and they exist in your body. And it turns out that the metal ions have very little negative effect, but we do have some reservations when we put a metal-on-metal -metal hip in a woman who ha is potentially childbearing. Because those metal ions, although have never been proven to do anything, we don't want to risk anything. So metal-on-metal -metal is a very good hard surface. It's good for young people. But in a childbearing per person, for example, it wouldn't be our first choice. So what are other options besides metal-on-metal -metal for young people? Another option is ceramic. Ceramic wears beautifully. It's an incredibly good surface. The problem is that it's very brittle and at times can break. <clears throat> the, cer the ceramic is being developed and being improved all the time, but for a young woman who you don't want to use metal on metal, ceramic is a good choice. Another um, articulating surface that we use a lot is plastic. And this is a, uh, a pla an acetabulum that has a plastic insert in it. Plastic is the most tried and proven material. We've been using it for years. We know how it reacts. It's very, very safe. And the plastic that we now, now have is, extreme, is very different and very wear resistant as compared to plastics we use in the past. So for the vast majority of people, this plastic, which is called high-density polyethylene, is the material of choice. 